which is still works. So what you see there is um, <clears throat> my oldest son doing what's called Arduino. Arduino is um, a programming uh, uh, circuitry that you can use to, it's, a, it's basically a microprocessor that, that you can uh, take and program with uh, a programming language called C Sharp. Uh, most of my background uh, over the last number of years has been to programming development. Um, uh, never really got into C Sharp, but kind of learning that now or C++. Uh, just different variations of the C language. And so Arduino is really something pretty cool. Uh, you take a microprocessor, you take a breadboard, you take some other circuitry, there's some resistors there in the breadboard, and you use, uh, you program it with C, uh, with C language. Um, in, inside your computer, you connect it with a USB cord, and you can get your microprocessor to do certain things. And so obviously for homeschool, we do math, science, history, all kinds of different things. And uh, but one of the uh, topics that Papa here has uh, in, you know, incorporated into the regular curriculum is the importance of learning languages. And that can be, you know, French, Russian, whatever. Uh, you you, you want to learn languages at a, at a small age. And right now he's learning a little bit of Hebrew. We're going to uh, progress into Russia, Russian and Chinese at some point. But programming languages are also part of that. Um, if you can you know, accustom your child to learning languages at a young age, they'll be able to learn all kinds of different languages later on. It just makes it easier. It gears their brain uh, to be able to learn those things early on so that they can learn them and retain them later in life. Anyway, so he's learning uh, C language, uh, variations between C Sharp and C++, and uh, the Arduino is helping him do that. Uh, basically, again, it's a microprocessor that you can program to do a, a number of different tasks. Uh, there's a breadboard here with uh, different LEDs and resistors, and he's just learned how to program a new project um, that he's getting ready to show Grandma and Grandpa when they come in from out of town here soon. Anyway, um, this is just a simple netbook again that you can use to, prog to, to program to program your, your, your microprocessor. And so this is one of those things, I mean, if you really wanna get into this, you, you can find, it's not that expensive. I think the whole setup that we got was like 50 bucks. Um, uh, online just for the circuitry and all the Arduino stuff. We got it on eBay. They sell these beginner kits. Now this is a clone Arduino. Uh, they do, uh, you know, the, everything is open source, right? So there's lots of clones. Eventually we'll get a real Arduino board, uh, but this is just one to start out with to see if he likes it and he's definitely enjoying putting this together. And so uh, uh, we'll probably go ahead and get the Arduino, the real Arduino Uno and some other Arduino boards uh, that he can learn. And folks, if, you're, I mean, if your kids are into robotics, uh, my kid, you know, Joshua loves robots. So if, if your kid likes robots and is interested in maybe making his own one day, this is the, the step that you could begin to do this um, and, and learn uh, maybe how to do that, or if, you're, if your child is interested in progressing to that. But anyway, Arduino, microprocessors, really interested into this. He, he's loving it. He's made an, a number of different projects with it so far. And at the same time, he's learning language and he's gearing his mind to learn languages um, uh, like C, uh, development languages, which will also help him learn uh, foreign languages as well. Gearing your child's mind early on to begin to understand how languages work and, and, and uh, what you can do with them. So uh, Arduino, if you're interested, just Google Arduino. It's A-R-D-U-I-N-O. Um, all kinds of information out there online. The tutorials online are all free. And so it's not very expensive to get, going, get started on it. Um, again, we just bought him a netbook that he can use for programming this. Um, I think I bought the netbook on eBay for like 80 bucks or something, or 50 bucks, something like that. It was a used netbook I bought online. That's all, it's, it's just, it doesn't, doesn't need a lot of processing power to be able to, to program into that, that microprocessor. So anyway, so you like it, Joshua? Mm hmm Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out why the lights aren't lighting up in order. Well, you gotta go back and check your connections. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy that. That's just something we're doing for homeschooling. We have lots of homeschool projects that we do here on the homestead. Um, this is just one of them. And, uh, you know, he's nine years old. He's learning C++ and C Sharp already. So we're just, uh, we're enjoying uh, this kind of stuff. This is one of the things we enjoy here on the homestead. All right. See you next time on American Homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. 
visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.